gentlemen, please be upstanding to receive the former Lord Mayor of Liverpool, Councillor Christine Banks. Today, by 
by the uh, elected mayor. Uh, particular pleasure, I might say, to see Simon Woolley in the chamber today, whose work has led to so many uh, people from black and ethnic minority communities not only becoming councillors but being mayors and councils up and down the road of this country. I'd really like to thank Anna for picking up the ball in the circumstances that she has done. I won't go into those circumstances, we all know what they are, uh, and it's a time for us all to put that behind us. But that's had a particular impact for Anna. Instead of having a year-long apprenticeship, she's had to get going extremely quickly. She hasn't had time to perhaps learn a bit of the ropes as you did, Eric did when they were deputy Lord Mayor. She's just had to pick it up as she goes along. There must be some nifty footwork with her employers who normally get a bit of notice, uh, but they will be losing a member of staff for a time. And so thanks to Anna's employers uh, as well. Uh, and uh, one thing that is slightly wrong with, with uh, uh, um, what the elected mayor said, presumably, uh, you will only be the Lord Mayor for nine months instead of the 12 that you normally get. So you stepped into this uh, position in very difficult circumstances and short notice, so we really thank you uh, for that. Uh, I echo what the elected mayor has said about two things. First of all, there can be no doubt that for anyone who's been a member of this council for any time at all, for the commitment uh, that Council Rotherley has made to the ethnic minority communities of this city. She is without a doubt a firm champion on behalf of all of them, as well as being feminist. I think we pick up almost everyone except white men in the uh, things that you should perhaps champion. Perhaps old white men like me might, uh, might have a chance. Uh, so we know we have been there for a long, long time plugging away for the communities that you really believe need a role. And uh, you are, without a doubt, uh, a doughty champion for one of the most impoverished wards in the city. Uh, I have represented parts of Liverpool Lake, though I represent the Liverpool Way team now, and I know the challenges that councillors there on a daily basis are dealing with people in real need. And you can't always help, it's alright if you can help them, but often you can't, and the despair that that leads to as a diligent elected member is uh, really uh, <coughs> worth mentioning. So, uh, Councillor Rothery, it's my pleasure to second this motion today, and I'm sure I, along with all the councillors and all the people of Liverpool, wish you all the best for the <coughs> year, and I promise you our support in all the work that you do. Well done, I second it. And I think, really, I just want to echo the words of the mayor, and I thought you put it, put it really well in his speech. Um, I, for one, really hope that you know, your appointment sends out a message loud and clear that Liverpool is a welcoming city, that whatever your background, we, we, we welcome you and want you to, be, uh, to achieve your absolute potential. So thanks so much, and good luck.
And I think that's actually quite a credible basis for anybody being the Lord Mayor. That strength of character, that determination to see what is right is done. And we look forward to, on behalf of the Liberal Party, the constructive opposition, uh, we look forward to you being the Mayor, and we look forward to you visiting our community in Tunebrook. God bless you in your work. Enforced response 
the cloth, the children's wigs, the right ones are gone, keep the therapy, and say goodbye to those who lost their family. The biggest lesson that I learned is that we are all inextricably linked, and if we, fall, if we fail in one area, then we fail in all. Society is judged by how we treat our most vulnerable, those silenced by fear of oppression, and those who are unable to speak for themselves. I think it's fair to say that I've gained a bit of a reputation. Often referred to as Princess Pushy, <laughs> a badge I secretly wear with pride. I know from being formidable, tenacious, and a huge pain in the posterior. <laughs> However, it is not all a struggle because it's easy. This year you will see a different side of me. I will be doing more. I know that sounds hard to believe, but I will, or I will attempt it. I'm changing my tactics, digging deep into my toolbox, or should I say my vanity case, and trying on the charm offensive in order to win hearts and minds. I look forward to working with my charities, the months ahead, and the new partnerships and friendships I will form, and also to raising lots of cash for my daily causes. My charities are the Anthony Walker Foundation, which is a local charity established in the aftermath of the racist killing of 18 year old Anthony in 2005. Anthony Walker's uh, Foundation purpose is to promote racial harmony through education, arts, and sports, promoting the celebration of diversity and personal integrity, and the realization of potential of all young people. Services provide include directly supporting anyone experiencing any form of actual or perception of hate crime and the delivery of educational workshops to challenge prejudice, discrimination, and contributing to building safer, stronger, cohesive communities. My second charity is Amadoudou's Women's Refuge. Amadoudou is a trailblazing refuge set up in 1991 in Liverpool to provide temporary accommodation and a range of services to meet the holistic needs of women and children through domestic violence. The organisation management and staff and volunteers are representative of diverse communities. They are all special services in their society, prioritising the needs of women, providing family support, health and wellbeing activities, childcare and education opportunities before families resettle into new homes. They work tirelessly to empower women to live happy and independent lives from freedom, violence and abuse. And to do our expertise and support women with complex issues, they play a key role in shaping the delivery of Liverpool strategies for violence against women and girls and campaigning nationally for justice for women and the prevention of abuse. My favourite charity will be LCR Pride Foundation. The LCR Foundation aims to position the Liverpool City region as the most LGBT plus friendly region in the UK. They do this by highlighting the daily barriers that the LGBT plus people living in and visiting the region face, and by creating an inclusive culture where people feel they can fully participate and contribute. Utilising the reach of the flagship event, Pride in Liverpool, the foundation is waiting across the region to extend the message of pride beyond the annual event and into the wider communities through awareness, campaigns, and influencing policy. To support and celebrate communities that do not typically feel represented by pride, particularly trans, bi, and main members of the LGBT plus community. My final charity is Maisie Side Somali Association. MSCA was established over 40 years ago by the Somali Seamen to address the needs and areas of employment, leisure, housing and health. For much of this time, the importance of, our service, of their services has been acknowledged by the City Council and other regular funders through continuous improvement plans and essential services. They deliver welfare benefit advice, sign posting, housing advocacy, health and well-being, awareness programmes, leisure and social activities, English and educational programmes. They are a crucial source of information and support within the community, providing a much needed vital lifeline to local people who would otherwise have to 
what if it wasn't right, so I have the support that they need to deal with issues and challenges that they face on a daily basis. As well as the traditional plant based Somali communities, over the last five years they've seen widened participation and taken off services. Those are my charities. I think to conclude, I think everybody knows my commitment to equality, human rights, and anti discrimination work. I hope that this coming year we'll see that we can work together in full partnership, not just looking at equality, but more importantly, looking at economic equality for all. As the great man said, there's no point in opening up the coffee shops if you can't afford to buy a cup of coffee. Thank you very much.
that you know you are not welcomed in and may get a home and give it love and give it forgiveness and proceed for the future. You, you are so beautiful in the way that you see the pain of the slaves etched in the glory of the buildings in this city. Do you still hear the echoes of your ancestors at the docks? Men and loudly with the seagulls. Of course you do. But you come to them and tell them you will build a city of love that the two birds will always protect. You. You are so beautiful in the way that you absorb pain because you know it is time to heal. Liverpool, we heal you from your past. We feed you with love, acceptance and forgiveness. You are beautiful, complicated, textured fabric. Liverpool, we start again. Thank you. 